ShireSociety.com. Well, it's March 15th, 2020, <clears throat> and your friend and humble narrator, Ridley, is uh, wandering his neighborhood, passing out a newspaper. I'm publishing a newspaper for my neighborhood, and this is my, uh, this is something I am doing for, because of the, of the uh, medical crisis. I'm putting copies of this makeshift newspaper uh, in front of people's mailboxes or uh, whatnot. I don't guess we're allowed to put newspapers inside mailboxes. Uh, feds don't like that. But the, the idea is to try and uh, connect our, our neighborhood uh, if we're more connected without <laughs> probably being in too close proximity then we're better able to handle a crisis. And I'm also announcing <clears throat> the location of a flea market that I'm starting temporarily. So right in front of the mailbox they go. Where they, what they accomplish, nobody know. But the theory, at least, is that Every neighborhood's going to have surpluses and deficits of various items. And it, even if trade gets, you know, we get to a point where we're not allowed to go across the, the town, right? And it's, I mean, it seems like it could get to that point where you're confined to your neighborhood, and that's the only trade that you can do is in your neighborhood. So I'm planning to start uh, my little trading post or Hopefully it'll become a flea market on uh, on the 17th. If we wind up not really needing one, then great. But there are already shortages, and it seems like time to start. My uh, collection of wares for sale probably won't be very impressive, <laughs> but uh, it, with any luck, it will. Uh, it will other people will start doing the same thing or they'll compete with me or they'll come by and we'll have four people selling things instead of one uh but it's like i said it's time to start and there's no harm in doing a little of this while we're out here <sighs> this doesn't seem to have been so far at least a very violent crisis you know uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot of looting or anything like that. It seems like the world is handling it fairly calmly. Uh, calmer than you would expect, anyway. But it never hurts to turn ourselves into trading partners instead of rivals. And uh, you know, uh, they say that in, Americans never meet their neighbors until there's a disaster. And I just met a neighbor today for the first time. <laughs> or at least I met this particular neighbor for the first time. In my case, I've decided that I will sell items not at their, you know, their, their true marked up market value right now, but at normal convenience store prices or maybe even a little below that. Uh, I would rather not do that. I would rather sell higher. Um, but, you know, people consider that to be gouging and it's important not to be hated by your neighbors at the beginning of a plague. So I will impose price controls on myself. And that will do what price controls always do. It will create shortages and I won't be able to, I mean, I'll only be able to, I don't know, I'll be only able to, be, to do so much. What can you do? What are you doing? And uh, what do you think I'm doing wrong? What can I do better? The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.